right guys, hi, hi universe darlings, hi, or poopsies, whatever you want to be called, that's, the vlog has universe darlings. So it's been a minute, it's been a minute, I just got some Wendy's, um, and I, uh, I don't know if you can tell, I got my hair colored, um, it's pretty short now, but uh, it's like a orangey kind of color, reddish, it's like a orangey reddish brown. It just came out like that. I'm okay with it. I'm cool if it's green or purple. I don't care. Hair is hair. It grows back in two days anyway. Um, I'm happy with whatever. I like changing my looks. <laughs> I've always do done that and always will. It's fun. Uh, feels like a different person. So, speaking of different person, um, Obviously, I've had different ways of always coping with my life. It's something I don't talk about, but I feel like the vlog is a healthy way to talk about things maturely without venting and lashing out like I did two years ago. Um, it's just better for me to, now that I've, I feel like I've grown or evolved or involved <laughs> somehow, involution, evolution, involution, whatever you want to perceive growth as I feel like I've grown not only physically but just spiritually mentally whatever uh, I do feel the difference so it, it's not like where I couldn't handle things the right way before it, it, it just feels overall better I feel more grounded here and understand how things work more now with earth <laughs> human beings and how to kind of just um blend and merge with how everything works because obviously I'm a human being too but sometimes I've had moments where I don't feel like it and I, I just don't feel like I belong I never felt like I was ever good enough or ever enough um and it's this like constant empty feeling and we're, we're just going to talk about a mix of everything today but most important of all what the title of this video says why I don't think I will ever truly be happy, fulfilled, whatever you define it as. I've asked people left and right, do you feel happy? What makes you happy? And time and time again, people generally say yes, but I wonder if, I begin to question if they actually mean it. Because um, happiness is defined by so many things. And actually, ironically, I was just in the hair salon reading a magazine uh, with uh, Dakota Fanning in it and uh, she said what defines happiness is not my success or like something like along the lines of not how much I've accomplished uh, is something along the lines of it, it I forgot exactly how she worded it but it was just what I needed to hear in this moment and because I was just thinking of it so it's like whoa wow I just opened this article with D Dakota and um, she's my age 25 right so it's nice to see someone of my age group going through the same crap <laughs> I guess but still finding their way to kind of make it happy not happy crap or crappy happy I don't know um, it's just nice to read something that you can resonate with in that moment and I feel like that's what I need to hear in this moment in time um, I'm just gonna talk uh, without obviously sharing who what when or why how keeping everyone anonymous but that's what I do. I talk to an extent. I don't talk as I used to, but that's why I miss doing these vlogs. I'm going to eat Wendy's, okay? My favorite, number six, spicy chicken. Hallelujah. All right. Praise the Lord. That makes me happy, okay? Wendy's makes me happy. I'm happy I got my hair reddish. I like red. Like, I like redheads. Like, you know, maybe I should try dating redhead. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I always attract blondies. I should try dating redhead guys. Anyway. Hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> so things uh, didn't pan out the way I hoped, but that's okay. Um, you know, getting to know people is not easy. It's always been a struggle, always been a challenge. People seem to find ways to open up to me and share even their deepest, darkest secrets. And even without asking, like, I just can't help that. It just is. But 
I don't think people ever fully get to a point with me where they're comfortable enough to really show the real them with me. And that's something I'm trying to figure out. Like, what is this pattern I'm playing over and over again? Again, it's not making sense now, what I'm saying, but... Linked in with um, the overall title of this video, I'm going to explain myself. And it, it will make sense, like, because I feel like my psyche is a just a intertwining complexity of different substances that I don't even understand completely. It's totally alien. And um, this is why I cannot fully attain this happiness or this form, you know. Um, so to get a better understanding of me as a person, for those of you who have clicked this video, you've watched me for years, you're curious to know. By the way, I'm parked by the Home Depot. <laughs> Big Home Depot sign. Totally, totally butt end of the parking lot in the corner by a tree where no one can see me. Just the way I like it. And this is my third coffee today, so this is going to be a long one. However much this camera can take. Mm, I'll try to make my point quickly, but... I think it's very important to feel at peace at all time. Under any circumstance, you have to be at peace. So, if it costs you your peace, it's too expensive. A friend just shared that quote with me today, actually. And I just needed to hear that. So, I've been doing a lot of, lot of, lot of meditating. Like a Buddhist monk. <laughs> a lot of thinking. Staying up thinking up meditating any little time I have in between during my busy schedule during every day of every week of every month of every year I spend just meditating figuring myself out because that's the most inspiring thing you can do and I realized I'm my best company no man can give me what this has inside how is it that I feel much better now and much more of a relief that I have no one in my life minus the X, that's a long story, I won't even go there than when I'm with someone. How come I feel so miserable, so depressed, so anxious, so nervous, so scared when I'm aiming to commit to someone when I feel just fine the way I flip and am right now? How is that possible? So is me the answer all along? And ask yourself this, you know, I always recommend you write some stuff down because I have some serious things to spit out here that are probably, some of them are priceless information because this is personal growth stuff, which I absolutely love talking about with anyone, um, strangers, friends, whoever. And some people can't take it. If you can't handle the heat, get out the kitchen, mister, you know? I love this stuff. Work on my ego. Work on my pride issues. Work on my self-centeredness. Give it to me good, honey, okay? Evaluate me, read me up and down, even if it hurts. And I, I think uh, I lose a lot of people because they lose me there. People don't like, for the majority, people don't like when you overshare or they feel like you're like judging them or, you know, that kind of energy. And that may be something I have to work on because it's something within myself that I'm not happy with and I see it in other people. I see the bad in everyone. Like that's like the first, maybe it's because I'm a Virgo. <laughs> we can't go a day without making this face like, <laughs> okay, it's true. We have to judge something somewhere. But today, on my, this was a funny day, like a funny day, like making closure and peace with someone who I thought I was going to have an intimately bond relationship with and we just decided to just keep it there as friends and I thought oh my god I'm going to wake up feeling like crud nope I feel better how come okay so again I'm going to get back to that so I was on my way to the hair salon 30 seconds away I'm driving really close to this person and I don't even notice I'm in such a hurry I'm already three minutes late this girl's like waiting on me I'm just like oh my god I'm so sorry and I get flipped off like she holds her finger up for a whole 30 seconds 
until I turn into the hair salon. And normally I'd be like, you know, B word, blah, blah, blah. I'd hug, bye, ring. Like I'd open, roll down the window, yay. You know, I'd, I'd go all ghetto, I'd lash out. That was Tony at one point. I just went like this, mwah, 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 mwah. I went like that to them. I hope they saw loving peace. That's all I want. I, <sighs> because no matter what, I may have to tick them off, but no matter what, I want peace for myself and I know how good that feels, so I want it for them. I hope one day they feel peace to where they don't have to put the finger up because they don't know what I maybe was going through today that just made it that much worse because they flipped me off. They don't know if I was purposely backing up into them, very close tailgating them, or if I was just running late, having a stressful day, and I was scared to miss my appointment. They misjudged, mistook my tailgating. I understand that, okay? It happens to the best of us. I get pissed off someone did that to me too. But do they know my story? So I thought, instead of feeding the fire, it's so easy to feed the fire. Give them love, honey. Because they probably needed it today too. This is a deep topic, but I'm just getting some awareness now that I never did before. Like, maybe I just made their day all better. Maybe they can laugh about it later. <laughs> Instead of feeding into the hatred of this world, why not just make their day better? Because I would have done the same. I would have flipped them off too, myself off too. They were having a bad day and I don't want to see anyone suffer, hurt, in pain, whatever. I don't want that for anyone anymore. I've been there, done that. I probably hurt so many people over the years and I just don't mean to. And I've gotten so used to Florida traffic, like I used to complain about it all the time. Now I just like, when someone honks, I'm like, I love you too. Like, it's just that's all it takes like why should you feed into that because you're not gonna evolve the earth and its inhabitants if you just feed into it it's gonna take longer why would you take longer do your damn job while you're here evolve it sucks it's painful grow you're not here to learn lessons. That's something else I realized. You're not here to learn anything. This is not school, nope. You are here to make the best version of you that you can possibly make. That's where the answer resides. And it's all in. Look within. When you externalize, that's nice. You get attention. You get people's eyes to open a bit. Bye, You know, she just wants attention. That girl... If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's from a Medea movie. She wants that child support. But if she looks within, oh wait, why am I externalizing all this? Oh, I have a lot of internal crud here. I'm projecting it on Byron. Okay. Maybe he will pay me my child support. Let me look within. Let me just meditate in my car. Let me just look at my purse and imagine a million dollars sitting right here. Let me internalize this feeling. Attack it. With positive energy. I'm just watching a John Deere tractor go back. Fond memories of a kid riding with one of those. Anyway. I used to not talk about this stuff because I, I just wouldn't get it, but now I get it. It makes sense to me now. And there's still stuff I'm seeing, I'm like, that's of a higher vibrational message and I, I just don't understand it. I'm not there yet, you know? And like some things, some people will say, I, I'm just like, what? I don't get it. But that's okay, it's not for me to get. I don't have to know everything. 
I'll get there with time. And then this made me realize dealing with stress literally bags under my eyes for the last five months dealing with random men. Not random. <laughs> I shouldn't say random, but my anger is speaking on my behalf. But just men I at one point saw myself with as life partners and I'm just done. I'm tired of feeling sorry for myself. I'm tired of putting up with someone's crud. I'm tired of trying, giving. I, I give all my all to every person, to every man. I will give you money. I will give you time. I will give you energy. I will give you anything, my world, your world, whatever. And I feel very, very fortunate enough to say that. Life has blessed me in so many ways because I bless myself. Life is not going to bless me unless I bless myself. Meaning work on myself. Work hard. I love working hard. I don't mind it. Gives me something to do and keeps the men at bay. <laughs> keeps me out of trouble. Men have gotten me into countless trouble the last five months and it's not even funny anymore. So I need to have a sit down and talk with you guys and share why I feel I'll never get there. It's never enough for me. I will have my mans by my side and I probably still won't find happiness. I'll be like, let's work on this next. I can't just sit down and admire and enjoy. That's why I don't go on vacation, like ever, ever because huge waste of money holy crap like one vacation I spent five grand on I was just like I just left feeling like miserable like I didn't feel good at all I don't know I was supposed to have a good time but anyway um waste of money for me um we all value different things I don't really like nice expensive Gucci Louis Vuitton coach I get asked all the time to unbox those things. First of all, do I look rich to you? Second of all, um, I don't like those nice things. You know, I'm happy with my Jeep if I can save some coin. I'm happy saving money. <laughs> that makes me happy. I, I'm not happy. Like, I, I want to secure my life, okay? Um, and invest. I, I don't, I don't want to, no. No, I'm not a splurger. I, I will barely even get takeout. This is my takeout. I'll get McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger. Like, that's me. Whatever. I will probably never change that. I used to think, like, oh, my God, when I get rich one day, guys, oh, my God. I'm not even going to go in the Walmart. I'm not even going to go step a foot to go to the bathroom and pee in the McDonald's. Ten years later, here I am wishing... I could find the next fast food joint if that means I could save some coin. Because being an adult, life gets expensive, okay? You never know where you're going to need to save that money. Uh-uh. I used to think all the time, like, I'm going to live in a skyscraper. Girl, bye. Stay broke. <laughs> no thanks. So I value those things. Um, in a partner. Yeah, they can save money with me. Be responsible, be smart. I like older men. I'm always into older men. At this point, preferably 40 and up. <laughs> like always. And people find it twisted. I don't care what you think. Like, daddy issues. Okay, whatever. We all got some issues. Um, I've always dated financially well-off men. Responsible men. Investors. Millionaires. Whoever heirs. Um... That's just the lifestyle I expect. I attract those men without even trying. It just is. Um, and lately I've been trying to date in different things. Like there was one guy I almost dated that ended up almost like a three-way. Like he was already with his partner of many years. I was like, Ooh, nope, got to put the brakes on this. And things just didn't pan out the way we planned anyway. Thank God. Um, so 
you know what you attract what you demand of the universe what you expect in your head like that cycle will play over and over and over and I tend to have cycles now of mismatching not finding the right partner for me because there's something I needed to learn out of that and it sucked it sucked okay big time and um this has not been an easy, probably why I haven't been vlogging much. This has not been the most easiest seven months ever since I even started a hypno school. Like things have changed. I joke and say that place is like a cult because ever since I joined, things have just changed so dramatically and out of the ordinary. It's, I'm still shaken up. I'm like, am, did I wake up in a dream slash nightmare? <laughs> um, but it reversed so much of my old patterns because now I'm finally putting up with it and dealing with these deep-rooted issues that car that um excuse me when it finally comes to surface it's like ew like ow oh I don't want to deal with it oh this has been suppressed since five years old no like and it's horrible like there was a woman in our class so funny like big heart um love her uh she even like vomited when she got home i was like like this is bringing up so much old trauma for people and it's so beautiful but it's really doing a lot for people and i can't imagine what my classmates are going through god like i just wish i could talk to all of them you know um I have time to just really sit down with each one of them because they're, they're all going through their own unique journey and it's so inspiring to see like wow you're not alone in this you know um it's empowering it's profound whatever the, the teachers are all amazing they're just wonderful people all of them beautiful people all of them just magnificent like could have asked for a better group um I just see myself in them so much. It's just like, oh my God, they're all going through their own thing and to see the transformation that this is doing. And I'm not saying hypnotherapy is the answer, but ever since I joined, it's just like, in a funny way, I say culty because it's like, especially ever since that past life regression I had, I, I don't know, it, it just like, it just shifted my whole, either what, is this what waking up feels like? I, I, I don't know, like people are saying we're going through the fifth plane of being now. I'm like, where's the new earth? Hold on, am I here yet? Hello, is this the new earth? Yeah, I'd like to order some french fries. People probably think I'm insane. I don't care what people think anymore. I, I want to bring you like to the mall. To the, I didn't even go to the mall, but I'll bring you to the mall. Uh, we'll find a way to work it. Just take you everywhere with me. I want to vlog. I want to explore. Next year I want to travel. Oh my god. Okay, so next year is the only excuse I have for a vacation because I really need it. Um, my last vacation vacation was... Well, that was two years ago, and then three years ago. Two, three years as an adult, when you work every day, it feels like 20, 30 years, okay? So, um, like, sometimes it's a struggle to even fit things in your schedule now. You're like, yeah, sure, I'll do it. And there's like bags under your eyes. Um, even meeting out, friends, going socialize, I'm just like, oh, I gotta do the drive again, you know? It's just like, this has been such, not restricting, but like, I have, oh no, I really, really, really hope it doesn't stop recording. Um, but yeah, there's always that thing that will like upset me that I'll find in someone like a flaw or something and I'll be like, focusing on that. I'm trying to look and see if this is gonna stop recording. Anyway, I'll do my best to finish my thought, but I haven't even finished my burger. Like, I just ate the fries. I'm doing so much talking. But if not, I'll probably continue part two another day. You'll probably, this will probably be part one, and part two will come after, if, if it cuts off. And it'll be, like, a totally different day. I'll wear something else. Different location, probably. But my head just shifts to the bad. For some reason, I'm programmed to focus on that. It's a caution, it's a defense thing, it's a so you don't experience this trauma again thing. And I don't know what it is. I've worked on my anger issues lately because I've been having problems with my right thumb. Ow. Now that I think about it. Um, 
tried doing some myofascial work to get it loosened a bit. Um, but it's still like cracking bone. I don't know, whatever. It has something to do with something because I know any dis-ease, discomfort of the body has to do something with something, okay? You know, and I think that's anger. I've been doing a lot of workouts lately. Oh God, if you can see my body now. Ooh, exes be jealous. <laughs> but running, biking. Now I've been lifting weights. Muscle memory, great. I gained all my weight back and probably some more now because I've been just doing the most working on myself, empowering myself, looking hot, looking strong, empowered. All the things that I was so insecure and lack of confidence before, it's there now. I am so thankful for everything in my life, my house, my car, my finances, my health, my spiritual side, my dog, my bird, my family, my friends, my schooling. Yeah, guys, this is not really going to work. I don't know why it keeps cutting. It's probably overheating, but I'm going to make this quick. Um, so much to be grateful for. I just did this meditation the other week that I just couldn't stop crying. I was like, yes, give it to me, good God. Like, hallelujah, praise the Lord. I'm here for it. And I think people are waking up, and it's beautiful. I'm going to continue this conversation another time. This camera is going to die on me again. I just know it. Sorry, guys. Um, I hate to cut this off. But you're going to see a part two probably tomorrow or the next day. I don't know. I just have so much to do. So this is going to take a while um, to get